this video from Casio Help. We're taking a look at uh, the basics of department programming on the SES 400 model. Um, so on the machine you've got 25 buttons here which are sales departments or categories. You don't have to program them, they work as standard. So you can ring a sale through um, the departments and they work as normal as you'd expect them to. Um, but what you can do is pre-program them with descriptions, um, prices if necessary. Um, you can also assign them to tax rates. So you might want to program a description because the description not only appears on screen but it also appears on your receipts. Uh, so it makes your receipts look a bit more professional if you've got a name for them. Obviously if they've got preset prices, so if you're using your departments as pseudo products then obviously having a preset price makes it quicker for processing a transaction. And also on your reporting, at the end of the day report split sales down by departments. So rather than seeing list of numeric departments, you might find it more helpful if these you've got actual descriptions so you can see what you've taken in groceries, you can see what you've taken in prescriptions or whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to do it. It doesn't take long and it's not difficult, but two minutes is all it will take me to show you how to do it. So first thing is you need the PGM key in and you need it round to the PGM position. Depth setting is highlighted, so you press CA amount 10 to go into it. If you know the number, so if you're programming a specific department number, you can type that in now on these buttons and it will jump straight to that one. Or you can press CA amount 10 to go through to the list of departments. So if we want to program department 21, again it's CA amount 10 to enter it. Um, I like to arrow up and start at the top um, and use this button here, the delete key, it's decimal point, full stop or whatever, and that will delete the default Casio description. And you can then type in your new product description using the department buttons here. So you can see at the very front of the button they've got a, uh, a letter. You get up to 12 characters for the description. Um, price, we'll, we'll give this one a preset price and then we'll, we'll do another one that doesn't have a price. No need to enter the decimal point, the till will do that for you. Tax, again only this is only applicable if you're setting up tax rates on the on the register. If you have and you are then obviously it's important to choose a tax rate for this product. Tax rate 1 for me. Group, I don't use groups because they can cause more confusion on the on the reporting so I think unless you're doing you specifically know what you want to do in I'm going to leave groups off. Um, high amount limit is if even though we've pre-programmed this button to be five pounds it's technically still an open button so someone could come along and ring a um, hundred pounds through the button so if I set this to 501 we'll take a look at what that does and doesn't do when we're back in the reg mode and that's it that's the only programming options there are so subtotal gets you back to the menu, arrow down to department 2 and the programming is exactly the same, um, what should we call this one, I'll just show you how to put a number in as well actually because you might have a product that has a number in it, so you've got a space button here, a number entry, um, you can either do it on these buttons, so you need, where's the shift, you can have a shift and a caps button. Um, but I can't see where mine are, so what I'll do is I'll show you the most long-winded way of putting them in. If your machine has a shift and caps button, basically shift is these white ones and caps is the black ones. It'll make sense when you can see the button and you need to toggle between them. If you wanted a 4 and then a 9, you'd have to press the button to get to the 9. Uh, the other way of doing it is to use these buttons. So they've got all the capital letters, all the lowercase letters and then the numbers. So if we look at the number 5, we're going to have to press this three, six, seven times to get the number five because it's going to go J, K, L, caps, J, K, L, lowercase, and then the seventh press will have the five on it. Okay, we won't give this one a price, but we will assign it to a tax rate. Same tax rate as the other one. Um, yeah, subtotal to finish. Repeat that procedure for all your departments, and then when you're done, two subtotals will get you back to the main setting menu. Key to reg, um, we've got a preset button here, and we've also got a open button here, so that's how they work. So the goods one doesn't work any differently from the other departments, but it's just that you've got a description on it, so it just makes it easier for your reporting, and um, also for the sales receipts look a bit more professional. 
Okay, so that's that limit put in. So I put a limit, I can't remember what limit I put into the button, but basically whatever I put in, I can't sell anything over that amount. So that's a good way of locking the button down if you want to use it as a preset product, because it's five pounds. Five pounds a penny, I think, from was my limit. So a good way of locking the button down so no one can play around with it or mess around with it and put ring to higher sales by mistake or, or, or maliciously. Um, again, cash to sale off. If we just have a quick look at the receipt, we've got post receipt set up. Just it's, it doesn't make any difference really, it's just nicer to have the descriptions on. And then like I said with your reporting, it just um, makes a lot more sense. Okay, there's more videos on how to set up and use the 400 appearing on screen now. You're more than welcome to watch those. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.